they would prefer to be. They'd like to have made that walk on the moon. But uh, since they couldn't, at least that's one small advantage of the, over not going to the moon is they're not going to be locked up for the remainder of three weeks. I'm not sure that they're willing to settle for that compensation, but I they're don't sure think settling they... for being back. Yeah. <laughs> but. You can even see the jet exhaust of that helicopter. It's really great coverage. Just thinking how interesting it's going to be someday when we get the uh, Earth orbital space shuttle working where the crew just casually comes in, lands, and taxis up to the, the ramp and walks off. This will surely bring on the, the space age. We still have the, I would call, a very old technique here. step in our sequence is to open the hatch. Really going like clockwork. I'm really impressed the way this crew's working. Yeah. Beautiful. This is the voice of the uh, air boss up above the uh, up above in the helicopter reporting back to the Iwo Jima we're hearing. You know, there's some other disappointed people on that carrier, particularly the men that are going to bring back those rock samples from the moon. They've been out there for some period of time, prepared to take those. The chef in charge of the, <laughs> the mobile lounge. <laughs> yep, all that food's going to be kept frozen and used later, I think. time. Must be a welcome face peering through there. Don't think they're inside shaving. I assume they're willing to come out any time. The operator is standing on the flotation collar, uh, peering in the uh, forward viewing windows. spoiled with this sequence of recovery pictures here. Yeah, you can't beat this. Must be starting on television oh, inside yeah, the command. <laughs> Is 
so many to get in. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny there are only not even the bloody open ahead. They're really picking up the tempo here. Let's see, uh, what's that, Bailey Net? What do they call it? The uh, Billy Q is the fellow that designed this. Yeah. Uh, a fellow from uh, Texas, and it was Corpus Christi. Yeah, is being what's this about? I don't know what that procedure was for. Just normally you have the three crewmen out in the raft, with yeah. the hatch closed, so that you don't blow the seawater in the, in the open hatch. So maybe there was something they were passing on with that. Basket. I they sent something up, apparently. Mm. I didn't hear any words suggesting what it was. No, that, that's a new one on me. Uh, whatever. The so later, is that the crew access hat? Appears to be uh, getting ready to open the uh, access hat. He's checking in the forward viewing window. I can re recall we designed this hatch after our disaster. <laughs> we were afraid the hatch would come roaring open and sweep the uh, scuba divers right off the side, and it just barely eases open. <laughs> there we go. Hatch is open. Turning back from the moon would be to open hatch like that and throw in the biological isolation garments. That may be what they've done and they haven't modified it yet. I'm not sure. That's the only reason I can see that basket coming down. Oh. Unless they need some clean clothes to wear. That may be. The uh, three <laughs> Apollo 13 crew members will be hoisted uh, up into the uh, Recovery One helicopter by the uh, Billy Punet. The device you see that uh, looks much like a half uh, birdcage. Uh, for the first time, uh, there are stifters in this net. Uh, the Billy Pew net has been used uh, on previous recoveries. Uh, these made out of aluminum to provide uh, rigidity to the net. Three Apollo crew members will exit uh, the spacecraft into the egress raft. The Billy Punet, by the way, uh, has a center of gravity which is uh, forward of the center line. Uh, that helps toward a lot. the open end to assure that. <laughs> Probably resuiting, that's the only thing I can imagine. This forward center of gravity is uh, designed to ensure around. that. Uh, Dressing for the occasion, yes. <laughs> an individual being picked up uh, would not tumble out. I'm back from the moon. I guess on this occasion they don't have the same outfits that they're dissipating. Nandy by satellite, if that's okay. That was the first one. Climbing out of the command module, sure. and it's in the egress raft. I don't even see any Mae West on, All which right, is right. most unorthodox. Like a nice place. I guess it must be on the track. Yeah. Looks like Jack Schneider, doesn't it? Number 
two. And three. Here come number three. Okay, there they may west on and see it better than that. No, those look like the, uh, the white uh, suits that they normally wear. You've seen uh, through the whole flight. 